Hi everybody, it's Nikki. Annyeonghaseyo. Chan Nikki Mira. Welcome back to Hayu Heaven and Ramble Time. And Ramble Time, Rumple Stiltskin Time. I don't know what to call these rambly segments, so if you have an idea, feel free to leave them down below because I need ideas. And I don't know what to name this. It's just me talking. Uh, but today we are going to be talking about Super M. And I'm so excited about it. Ah, oh, Super M, as you know, has released a debut schedule and their first mini album will be out on October 4th. Now, I think Super M has so much potential. Every single one of Super M's members has a talent. Whether, whether it is singing, dancing, rapping, whole package, literally every single one of them has so much talent. So this could really be a super group. Now, I've seen a lot of people hate Super M. I've seen small fandom wars start because of it. Um, there's like no nice stone left pretty much. It's really really crazy and if people kind of look into the history of K-pop, supergroups have always been a thing way more back then. Like K-pop back then was very much about collaboration, supergroups, mixing, seeing how things work, cute skits, variety things. It's it was so much fun and I've seen it diminish more and more, especially like the last two years, I want to say. It's been way less stuff made that was collaborations. Family concerts are less and less now. It's a sad thing to see, so for Super M to come back as the super group with all these talented boys, guys, men, whatever they are to you, to me, they're little brothers because they're all younger than me. Um, but Tenosa. My doggy is sleeping right down there, so if the audio is picking up his snoring and his in sleep barking, I'm sorry, but he's too cute sleeping there, so I'm not gonna wake him up. Okay, back to Super M, because he distracted me now. They have so much talent. You know, Kai is an amazing dancer. Baekhyun's vocals are amazing. Taeyong is what a lot of people forget. He is an all-around package. He's a great rapper, but he has a beautiful voice when it's just normal singing. He's an incredible dancer. Mark's a great rapper. He can dance too, believe it or not. Ten is an incredible dancer and he's worked so much on his vocals. Lucas is an incredible dancer. Taemin, I don't even think I have to say anything about Taemin. He's just... He's one of the most perfect idols, I think, out there. So why can't we just be happy and all come together as a group, as pretty much an SM family and support these boys? And there's been wars already about these pre-orders. Like, see, Taeyong's was sold out first. Mm, Kai, see, mm. all of this kind of a thing. Why does it need to be that way? I don't think it needs to be that way. I pre-ordered them. I pre-ordered all eight versions. Was it meant to happen? No. Started out getting Taeyong's version because I really wanted Cheong's. Then I thought, oh, let me get the United version. And I thought, oh, but I really want Ten's version too. Then I told my husband which ones I've ordered and he's like, well, that's really unfair to Mark and Lucas. Like, you have to at least get them. And I had a few rewards left over and I got some money off and then we just wind up ordering the rest and I have all eight pre-ordered. Am I regretting it? Absolutely not because I am supporting all of them. I know not everyone can afford these crazy crazy things. My Alexa just went off. I said it that way so she wouldn't turn on again so that, that was really weird. Um, I know people can't afford to buy all eight. It's a crazy amount. I was lucky to have gotten my tax return and so I spent the money just like I spend it on this camera but we all have to see where we kind of are and you get your favorites but you don't have to like rub it in everybody's face like oh see this one is sold out first 
it's not a competition. In this one, it really isn't. It's one group. They're together, united, united version. Get it? <sighs> Why? I, I'm really excited. They've already have the instrumental version for I Can't Stand the Rain. I Can't Stand in the Rain, I believe. One of these. I will put it on the screen, the right name. Um, they already have the instrumental out and it's, I can tell you, it's going to be a, a good song because if the instrumental is already, then just add the vocals to it and you have a masterpiece. So I'm so excited for this group and I really wish people would, instead of just constantly hating on something, on a project or whatever it is, if you're new to K-pop, please look into the history of K-pop, all these fun things long-standing fans have been able to see. Um, skits made by Shiny are probably one of my absolute favorites and you should really, really look into them. They're just oh, so good. I wish we would see more things like that, but I also know that K-pop has now become even more a competition between, not per groups per se, but entertainment agencies, maybe? But definitely you see competition between groups, even if it's family groups. But I think this is why Super M is such an important puzzle piece, such an important chess piece, if you want to say. Having a group made out of multiple members from separate groups who then promote together and show everybody that a, we get along, we're a big family, B, we're all talented, every group has their talents, and we can combine them into... Oh, now it makes way more sense that they're calling it the Avengers of K-pop. Yeah, now it makes sense if you think about it. They're combining their talent to show everybody, we have it, we can do this, we are one family. Ah, oh, it makes so much sense now. Wow. But yeah, so it makes sense for Capital to make these Avengers of K-pop and have them promote here over in the US to then bring more awareness to K-pop and show all the different sites K-pop has to offer. And I really believe this is what Super M is going to be. Super M is going to show the versatility of K-pop. I'm pretty convinced about this. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I'm not wrong very often. Um, you're allowed to mark a calendar if I'm wrong. This is a thing my family does. If I'm wrong, they mark the calendar. N Nikki was wrong. We won. Doesn't happen very often. So yeah, Super M is making me really, really excited for the last half of the year to kind of Go out with a bang. I know October is not the end, but it's almost the end. Like, can you believe it? 2019 is almost over. What? Kind of makes me excited to see what comes out on Christmas now too, whether Christmas will be also very K-pop oriented in entertainment agencies, in the way of family projects. If people are kind of looking at the whole Super M thing and I'm deciding let's make oh maybe a mini album with all of our artists to then have like holiday songs that would be nice good lord would I have to save up for money yeah but again I ordered all eight versions so if you want me to unbox all eight when they come in I can do that for you guys I usually don't I just unbox it and put it on Instagram or something, but I can definitely make a video on that and either leave it on this channel or on my Nikki Nuna channel. So yes, guys, are you excited for Super M? What are your thoughts on it? Please, please let me know in the comments down below. I would really like to hear your thoughts on Super M. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media, Instagram, Twitter, and my website, howyouhaven.com. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Yeah. Click the little bell icon so you get notified when I upload new videos. I love you guys. So, thank you. Bye bye. Annyeong.